If you've been following my videos on YouTube, particularly the series on the Beast and Happier here, this is Happier, my 280SL, you know I've, I've set about to figure out how to fix these old mechanical fuel injectors. This is what they look like right here. The old mechanical fuel injectors that were on most of these uh, Mercedes gas, fuel injected gas engines from the late 50s right up to the early uh, 1970s. And I've had some success. I've had some failures. But it's been fun. And the, the most exciting thing, of course, is I was able to save all eight. I've already installed four of them, but I've a, a, able to install, save all eight of the fuel injectors for the 6.3. Now, you already know, some of you already know what these cost. So you know, you know why I've got a, a big smile on my face. I've also had some success getting a good set for happier. Now, if you haven't seen the previous videos on the injectors in the Beast and in Happier, when I took them out, I'm going to put links in the show more part of the description below. Go watch those, and you're going to see how just how badly they were spraying when they came out of these engines. Now, of course, both of them hadn't hadn't run in a while, particularly that's the 6.3, but. I find a lot of these, these old gas engines are running real rich. You know, I've talked about this in a number of my videos. But I've also, even looking across the internet, looking at different forums and other videos, very seldom are the fuel injectors talked about. Everybody's talking about, you know, the cold start system and adjusting this and adjusting the mixture and the pump and all these things. And yet, when you have fuel injectors that are milking into your engine, can you imagine the damage it's doing? When you're washing down those cylinder walls with excessive fuel, uh, injectors that are squirting and leaking and dripping, well, that's going to really shorten the life of the engine. This is really bad. I can't emphasize this enough. You do not want to drive these cars when they're running excessively rich, so you need to get out there and fix it. We've even come up with some special tools to clean the valve and the seat. And I was not successful, so there's no guarantee. There, there's no... No guarantee you're going to be able to, to use my tester to test and clean and my tools to clean in, internally into the, into the injector uh, that it's going to work. But, it, but at least, you know, you're going to find out whether or not you have good or bad injectors. I want to show you, this is one we just finished up for the 280SL. I want to show you how well this one is working and this is what you're after when you go about testing one of these. This was one of the fuel injectors that I originally removed from my 280SL in that previous video and you watched it just squirting. This was one of the worst ones. It was squirting off to the side and it wasn't even sealing and of course the gauge wasn't holding pressure. So it's about uh, two weeks later as we've gone through this process of learning how to clean these. This has gone through a three-phase cleaning process, okay, as well as tip, uh, uh, tip a valve and seat cleaning and I want to show you how it's performing now. We've got it hooked up to the pressure tester, diesel fuel in the tank. Now watch closely the gauge at the same time watch the tip of the injector. As I pump up pressure it'll rise right up to 200. There, Watch this, we're coming up on 230. See it chirp? Right there. Just look at that fine mist spray. It's hardly even putting a lot of fuel into the bag. And of course, you can imagine the difference in, in wash down of the cylinder walls. But the other thing that's really critical when you're cleaning and testing these injectors is making sure it holds pressure, okay? So you can watch it spray here, see that? But now watch what happens when I pump it up just before a release and release the pump handle. Look at that it's holding right at 230. Now almost, I would say 80, 90 percent of the injectors I test, I pull out engines, they'll just sit here and leak right down. So this is real critical. How it holds pressure, how it sprays, and at what pressure it releases are all the critical factors to determine that you have an efficient and properly working mechanical fuel injector. I think I have this process figured out well enough that we're ready to offer a kit to those of you who want to test and clean your fuel injectors yourself at home. Uh, you're probably thinking, well, Ken, how, how much uh, can you guarantee this is going to help? Or what kind of success can I expect? Well, uh, 
I tell you, it's it's kind of a shot in the dark. You so you know, the, the fact that these these have to fire mechanically, you know, multiple thousands and thousands of cycles, you know, that they're just going to wear out. So uh, there's there's no guarantee that you're going to be able to you know get all your injectors. What we found is some of them you can get up to maybe 70 or 80 percent. You definitely don't want them milking, and you definitely don't want them leaking down rapidly. Maybe you can get them to hold pressure, but maybe they don't squirt just perfectly in a fine mist. That may be okay for the type of engine and, and driving that you do. But at least with this kit, you're going to be able to test your injectors. You're going to be able to attempt to go through some type of a cleaning process. And with some of the tools that we offer in the kit, you'll be able to get in there and actually clean that uh, valve. And that's really important. And then you're going to be able to test again. And, and so when you're when you get down to the end, okay, you're going to say, okay, now I'm going to have to get some new injectors, and they're not cheap. Uh, you know, if if I had to buy new in, new injectors for the 6.3, uh, I don't know what I would do. I really don't. But for the 280SL, you know, I'm I'm out of quite a few hundred dollars if I'm going to buy new new injectors. So it's worth. Before you put out that money, it's worth making sure that uh, your injectors are, are not are not savable. But I tell you, once you get once once you get those injectors cleaned up and firing properly, you know the the difference in the engine and the and the way it starts, the way it idles, the way it accelerates. I mean, I can hardly wait to get happier, put back together, and out on the road. And we do that, of course. You'll be alongside in the in the passenger seat as we go for a road test in that car. So if you're interested in this kit. It's going to come with a complete video manual. I will actually, in this video, I will take apart. I will take apart one of these injectors and go through the entire inner workings of it, how it works, where the problem areas are, and what are the challenges you'll be faced with trying to get a poorly performing injector to work again properly. So we'll have, we're going to have some tools in there. We're going to have some special hose and some other things that you'll need to be able to uh, you know, test and attempt to clean those fuel injectors yourself. So if you're interested in this kit, I'm going to put a link right below. Click on the show more part of the description below this video and it'll take you right to that kit on my website. So I'm kind of excited now. I've got, I've got injectors for both these cars working beautifully and I'm ready to get them back in the car and try to get these engines running again.